This is one of the very finest 6-inch refractor telescopes that exist in the world. It is a window into the past of our universe for stargazers and astrophotographers. Three lens elements are used in the airspace design, with the front and rear constructed from ED glass. The resulting system achieves a high level of apochromatic performance for both visual observation and imaging. A 2-inch Takahashi tube holder is a recommended upgrade from the standard inch and a quarter and will be the first piece of hardware that will thread to the focuser of the telescope. It features two locking screws and a brass compression ring. This ring is a huge bonus because without it any and all hardware that slides in would receive scratches and dents when tightening the locking screws. Removing the rare dust cap will reveal the threads that we will use to attach the 2-inch tube holder. When mounting this optical tube, you will be lifting 31 pounds or 47.5 pounds with the counterweight system and tube rings. You will also need a D-plate, also known as a Las Mandy style dovetail plate. So add another couple of pounds. A 2-inch desiccant cap adapter is highly recommended to absorb any moisture trapped inside the optical tube, preventing internal mold growth, which is a deadly enemy of coatings and glass. It also functions as a dust cap. This particular unit is from Particle Wave Technology and is no longer in production, but others are available from manufacturers like Farpoint Astronomical. Replacing the desiccant silica gel packages when required is critical. Failure to do so might cost you thousands of dollars in service and shipping fees in the best case, and in the worst case, render your fine optical instrument useless. To take maximum advantage of your optical system, it's best to choose 2-inch options when possible. This is a 2-inch astrophysics diagonal with dielectric coatings. They are among the finest in the world and don't come cheap at 400 US dollars. The diagonal also features a brass compression ring and slides into the 2-inch Takahashi tube holder. Next follows the eyepiece, which will provide the magnification desired. More on this topic in my future videos. This 2-inch Teleview 31mm Nagler eyepiece has a field of view of 82 degrees. We will require to remove the 2-inch 2 2-inch 2 and a quarter adapter reducer that was an optional accessory for the 2-inch astrophysics diagonal. We then gently slide in the eyepiece and lock it in place. At 942 Canadian dollars plus 13% HST tax, it's an expensive piece of glass that we certainly do not want falling out while observing. At this point, we are ready for observing. We can achieve focus by turning the silver focuser knob. A micro-edge focuser feature provides 7 to 1 fine focusing when using the smaller black knob.
This is a batter 2 inch extender tube. It is threaded to accept most 2 inch astronomical filters and features a click lock system that I find to be very practical when used in the dark. On some occasions, when the focuser travel is not enough, you will then employ extenders. And as the name implies, it will extend the travel of the focuser. The extender slides into the tube holder. The rest of the optical train will follow, 2 inch diagonal and eyepiece. The optical tube alone is priced just over 15,000 US dollars as of 2023. Tube rings and a bridge plate are some accessories required for mounting your optical tube. A tube weight system is standard to assist in balancing instrumentation and visual accessories. The system weighs 11 pounds, so the handle is very practical. A case for safe transportation and storage is highly recommended. JMI and scope guard cases are good options. Next, you will need a sturdy mount. If you choose among the finest in the world, such as Astrophysics, Takahashi, or Paramount, like I did, expect to splurge another 15 to 20,000 US dollars. And this does not include extras, such as in the case of Astrophysics, for counterweights, polar scope, saddle, and mounting plates. Allocate an additional three to four thousand dollars for all of these. You will also need a tripod or pier that are sold separately from one thousand to four thousand US dollars. I purchased a particle wave technology 10 inch pier that is now discontinued, which set me back close to six thousand Canadian dollars back in 2010. Takahashi engineers have undertaken a complete redesign of the triplet system, completely eliminating spherical aberration while minimizing axial chromatic aberration in the visible light spectrum. In other words, orthoapochromat means textbook, razor sharp, visually correct images, and free from spurious color. Refractors rarely require collimation, but collimation screws are built into the lens cell in case optical alignment needs some adjustments. A total of six sets of collimation screws are provided. My favorite range of eyepieces from Teleview are 4.7 mm Ethos, 31 mm Nagler, 13 mm Ethos, 11 mm Apollo, 41 mm Panoptic, and at last but not least, the 21 mm Ethos. I have others from Pentax, Teleview, and Bader in my collection.
using a Bino Viewer and your observing experience takes it to a whole new level using both eyes. I chose the Denkmayer 2 Bino Viewer system with the power switch option. Keeping both eyes open when using your telescope minimizes eye fatigue. While you need to double up on the eyepieces at double the cost, the results are outstanding and rewarding. With the power switch option, you can select from three different focal ratios, effectively tripling your eyepieces. At $1400 US, it's worth the investment. A retractable extendable dew shield protects the instrument from dew while stargazing. Two locking screws are provided on the sides. I also use a Kendrick dew remover system for additional protection against dew. The standard Takahashi 4-inch focuser presents two important features. The focus clamp allows the observer to clamp a precise focus point while imaging or critical visual use. The camera angle adjuster, invented by Takahashi in 1970, is currently used on their telescopes. It is a bearing rotator device that allows to be turned 360 to the most comfortable position without loss of focus or decentering. For land viewing, you will need a 45 degree erecting prism. A William Optics is a good option that will turn upside down images right side up and give correct left to right image. The 2 inch William Optics 45 degree erect prism will simply take the place of the 2 inch astrophysics diagonal in the Takahashi 2 inch tube holder. You will then turn to the same eyepieces that you use on the night sky. If you wish to capture the beauty of the night sky, you will need a matching T-ring to connect your DSLR camera to the telescope and shoot at prime focus. In my case, I have a Nikon camera, so a Nikon T-ring will be required. Next, a photo adapter is needed. Again, I will insist in 2 inch over inch and a quarter if possible. Thread the Nikon T-ring to the photo adapter. William Optics makes precise and fine hardware. You will then install the T-ring end that is now connected to the photo adapter just like you would install any camera lens. If you have a Nikon like I do, match the silver or white dots and turn anti-clockwise to the 12 o'clock position until you hear a click. For removal, Hold down the button that will release the lens mounting system and turn clockwise until the adapter releases. Finally, just slide the camera that now has the photo adapter mounted to the Takahashi tube holder and you are all set for taking shots of your favorite night sky target.
The Nikon DA10A is the best full frame DSLR deep sky astrophotography camera out in the market that was designed exclusively to reveal the secrets of the cosmos. A quick release base and plate system for a finder scope is required. I obtained one from BT Technologies compatible with Takahashi. The Takahashi 7x50 illuminated finder scope is top-notch quality. Switching the illuminator on or off is smooth and the focusing knob is located at the eyepiece. The reticle illuminator is not included with the Takahashi 7x50 finder scope and can be purchased for an extra 150 US dollars. I now need the ring bracket system to mount the finder scope to the telescope. I decided to purchase an astrophysics quick release base and six point adjustment ring system which I can quickly swap out from this telescope to my other astrophysics refractors. I also prefer six points of adjustments over the just three that Takahashi offers for more accurate and easier aligning. And here is how both quick release bases look when mounted to the telescope. The finder scope is a key component that will allow you to locate objects in the sky and place them in the field of view of your telescope. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Wishing you clear skies, stay tuned for my next Astro Gear video.